I was in middle school is really where my like first desire to lose weight. I thought that confidence came from a number on the scale. That confidence came from looking a certain way and other people thinking that I was like uh, awesome. I thought that's where I would get confidence. And when I talk to family, friends, and clients, usually they think that they will feel more confident once they lose the weight and get healthier, create this healthy lifestyle that they then maintain. We think that we will be confident and our life will be picture perfect once that happens. Well, I learned through my very long journey that that is not the case. That confidence and those positive feelings actually come from, one is our thinking because it's a feeling. And the amazing thing about that is we can create that literally anytime. Confidence comes from thinking thoughts that make us feel confident about ourselves and our abilities. The second thing is what I learned is confidence came from the process along the way of actually achieving my goal and not achieving my goal. It came from learning the skills that I hadn't let yet learned and really needed to, and that's where I, why I was stuck in my struggle. I heard this once that the reason that we haven't achieved our goals yet is because we haven't learned the skills or learned the lessons that we needed to learn. And for me, that was my journey. It was learning to believe in myself. It was learning to trust myself. It was learning to, that I could figure things out. And because I hadn't done any of that yet, I was stuck in the struggle and that, and I wasn't confident and I didn't value myself or, you know, have high self-worth. But once I was able to practice all of those things, then I was not only able to reach my goals, but I had the confidence. I had all of those emotions that I was like desperate to get and was trying to lose weight to get, but actually I didn't need to, to accomplish them. So I say this to share with you guys that sometimes when we flip it and we focus on the reverse, we focus on building that self-confidence and that self-love and that self-worth, the weight comes off so much more effortlessly and so much more easily and it feels so much better and we're building all of those other skills and those amazing like qualities and um, feelings along the way. So here sometimes that confidence comes from competence. And while I don't disagree with that because when we are competent at something, it's easier to have thoughts that help us feel more confident about it. But that is not the only way to get confidence is with experience and like competence. Because I think of my eight-year-old daughter, she has a whole lot of confidence. Like a three-year-old has a whole lot of confidence and they have no experience in anything. She is, my daughter's so confident that she knows more than me in like all categories and topics. They have no competence, they have no experience in that. That is just literally in their brain. It's because of the thoughts that they are thinking. Think of kids if you're ever questioning this. They literally just don't have those limiting beliefs. And if you guys are interested in learning more about this or how to do this, I do talk, break it down in my weight loss foundations class, which you can get to at the link in my bio. It's only $10. Promise you it'll be totally worth it. And you also get support from myself as you are going through it.